Hopefully an order Chinese food soon. And then after that, I think I'll go ahead and make an episode of like Kevin drunkenly rants for Gamer Front or whatever the fuck I end up calling it. Because I will fucking rant about something. Probably about how much games suck nowadays through my eyes. But in actuality, it's more like I'm just fucking getting old. And I can't accept the fact that fucking young kids like the games that are out now, and that's fucking something I'm gonna have to deal with if I wanna keep playing games. And hey, you know, I've become pretty fucking shitty and lazy too, so I can't really complain. I can still complain about Black Ops because oh my god, that game is fucking shit. But other than that, <laughs> shit in like every fucking like definition of the word, you know? It's like, is it fun? It's okay, it gets boring super fucking fast, but when I say it's okay, in my mind I'm thinking of Modern Warfare 1, like Call of Duty 4, because that it's the same game, like <laughs> it hasn't changed in any meaningful way since then. It's still point and click with very little fucking recoil or any skill involved. So it's really not any different than Modern Warfare 4, other than the fact that they've released like, what, four of them since then or something? Or maybe even more, I don't even know. But yeah, I mean, it's... <sighs> like, you know, from an esports perspective, apparently it does okay on streams, I think. But like live crowds, which is you know, I mean you know people are like, oh yeah, stream is what matters to a point, yes. But a live crowd still has to at least be there because if a sponsor shows up to a, an event, you know, I mean they're not just gonna watch a stream and be like, you know, look at stream numbers and be like, oh yeah, we'll give you millions of dollars. No, they're gonna come to the fucking live event. And if you have six people sitting in the fucking stands for that game, they're gonna be like. What? You know, they're just gonna be like, uh, no, we're not fucking giving you money for this shit. Like, nobody cares. You know, and you can be like, oh, well, millions of people watching on the internet, all you fucking want. But if nobody's coming to fucking fill the seats, they don't give a shit. They're not gonna care. And I mean, you know, Black Ops 2, I think, is at MLG this year. I'm pretty sure. I'm almost certain. And more power to them, whatever, but even though Halo, I think, Halo 4, I think kind of uh, shit the bed, I guess is the best way to put it. I, I think apparently it's not very good, and uh, so, you know, that's why they aren't having it, because, you know, last I heard, they were gonna fucking do it big this year uh, with Halo, but... You know, they're doing Black Ops instead for a console shooter. And basically that said they got more money from Sony. They, you know, or, you know, Activision or whoever pays them to use Black Ops. But like I think the Halo crowd Well, I don't even think I know the Halo crowd is a hell in preface this with I don't even like console shooters. I think they're pretty much all shit. You know, I mean, like, a mouse and a keyboard is the better way to play a fucking shooter. I really don't understand people who are like, consoles are better, <laughs> Consoles are better for RPGs, action games, shit like that. Not better for anything that requires precision of aiming or anything. You know, third-person shooters, arguable. You know, because they don't really require too much precision for the most part. You know, Gears of War, fine on console. It's a good game, fun, you know. have no problem with it. I played through it with a friend. It was a lot of fun. But, yeah, a first person shooter on a console, shit, automatically. It just doesn't, you know, I mean, it can be a good game still. I'm not, you know, I'm not saying, like, oh, well, it's a controller, so it's automatically a shit game. Halo, I'm sure, is a really good game. I haven't really played it because I've never really had any interest in it. But, you know, I mean, for the amount of people that say it's a good game, it has to have something. I mean, it's got to have something to it 
at that point, you know, and they're like, no, it needs to be the same, oh my god, it's, you know, the best story, and it's such good gameplay, and, you know, everything, it's gotta have something to it, you know. And I mean, you know, same thing with Black Ops, it's, and again, that's why it's like, I'm, I'm just getting old, you know, I mean, I'm only 26, yeah, <laughs> like, that's not that fucking old, you know, but when it comes to video games, it fucking is, it, you know, it's pretty old. <laughs> Like, you know, once you get past, I mean, well, okay, so I got it this way, 18 to 24. That's the demographic that people are looking for with video games. I'm not in that demographic anymore. You know, Axe is no longer coming after video games to get me. Because they figure at my age, 26, I have a job, I've already made my decision, which is fucking Red Zone, by the way, because that's the only thing that can fucking keep me from sweating, because I'm a fat ass. But other than that... Yeah, I use Axe fucking like soap or whatever, but not because I think Axe is amazing, but because it's fucking like cheap-ish, and really I bought it once and it's okay. Like that's the only, you know, I don't really give a shit what I'm watching myself with. It's pretty much the only reason I buy Axe. But, uh, yeah, I mean, they're, they're not coming after me for that market, you know? I mean, they're coming after an 18 to 24 year old, and preferably basically end of high school, beginning of college kid who is going to go out into the world, you know, into a college dorm room and need to buy a bunch of shit, okay, because this is the first time they're really living on their own. That That's the specific person that these esports, you know, like companies are coming from, you know, they're not actually esports companies, but the sponsors for esports. They're going after people who are exiting high school and entering college, because that's you know, that's the demographic that, oh, shit, you know, I have to start making my own decisions for what I'm buying, you know, like, at home, you're like, okay, well, you just use whatever soap, you know, is being bought by my parents, you know. Once you get out, Axe is like, hey, sub bro, you should probably buy Axe because it's awesome. I'm old enough to know that it's fucking bullshit. But, I don't know, apparently 20-year-olds think, oh, yeah, man, I'll buy Axe and I'll smell great and then women will come after me. No, that's not how that works, but who cares, you know, that's what people think, so fuck it. And I mean, you know, honestly, it's more about just kind of clever advertising than actually. Yeah, who cares? I'm not going to start fucking giving a lecture on advertising. But, uh, yeah, so, you know, I mean, when it comes to esports advertising, you know, they're going for the, you know, coming out of high school, going into college, or at least in college person. They're not going for the person who's out of college, already made... You know, pretty much all my decisions as far as like what I'm gonna buy. Like, you know, yeah, like when, when it comes to stuff like not lifestyle products, but like computers, you know, video cards, etc. When I go to buy a TV, I'm probably gonna get an LG TV. But at the same time, you know, and because they sponsor esports, but at the same time, I've done my research. LG is a good company when it comes to TVs. You know, like, if they were a shit company, I'm not going to buy it just because they sponsor esports. Like, that's, you know, that's stupid. Not going to happen. But, you know, when it comes to, okay, well, there's several good companies out there when it comes to TVs. LGIM this is a fucking, you know, great team. They do a lot for esports. You know, they're really pushing forward esports in a big way because they, you know, have good players and everything. And LG isn't a deal. Obviously, it's in the name, LGIM. They're an incredibly important sponsor for them. So when it comes to me needing to buy a TV, me knowing that LG is you know, a pretty decent company when it comes to TVs, I'm going to support them over, you know, I mean, Samsung, Samsung Con, you know, I mean, they, they do sponsor Starcraft as well. But they, <laughs> hate to say it like this, but they've always, kind of, well not always, but you know, they've sponsored StarCraft for a long time. You know, Samsung Con's been around for a fucking long time. So they're not in danger of being like, oh, we're going to drop out. <laughs> you know, so I don't know. That's kind of a shitty way, I guess, to really think about it, to be honest with you. But that's just kind of you know, how I think about it. It's like LG's a new-ish entry into the you know, esports scene when it comes to sponsorship. So, you know, like, when that Facebook thing came up with, uh, you know, the coach of uh, LGIM being like, hey, can you guys go post, you know, <laughs> you know, like, hey, thanks, LG, for, you know, sponsoring us. Tons of people were like, I bought an LG TV because you sponsored esports. 
that's totally legitimate because when I go to buy a TV, I will be buying an LG. I mean, my parents went to buy an LG or a TV two years ago at this point, I think, and I, you know, we had the choice of uh, I think it was an LG. Um, Insignia, whatever the fuck Best Buy, they went to Best Buy, but uh, Best Buy's brand, I think, Insignia, uh, and then, um, like, I want to say like RCA, but it wasn't RCA, it was some other, you know, pretty large TV uh, distributor, or manufacturer, and, you know, I was like, you guys should get the LG, and they're just like, why? And I'm like, it's better, you know, I mean, when it comes to my parents, they don't know shit, so I'm just like, it's better, <laughs> you should get it. You know, and they end up spending like an extra 50 bucks, I think, or something like that on the LG instead of the other one. And I mean, while, yeah, it actually is a better TV than what they were going to get, you know, the Insignia is like, what? You know, it's pretty shit, but it's still the reason that I said, hey, get the LG instead of, I want to say maybe it was a Samsung, but it wasn't even a Samsung. I know it wasn't a Korean company, actually. But, you know, the reason, though, that I suggested LG was because, hey, LGIM is fucking awesome, you know? Like, they, LG is doing a great job fucking sponsoring a really good team, and they're the only reason that that team really exists at this point. So, I was happy to fucking support them. Well, not directly, but I was happy to, you know, tell my parents to support them. And again, you know, when I get the money for it, I'm gonna buy a TV that's an LG. Like, I've already made that decision, you know? Oh, how did I get to this fucking position of talking about sponsorship things with Black Ops, I think? Yeah, gaming, like, you know, game sponsors and fucking esports. Yeah, so, you know, esports sponsors are not looking for me. So they're looking for the 18 to 24 college kid. So when it comes to games, it's about the same thing. Yeah, you know, I mean they're looking for the 18 to 24 year old man because you know, even though the female demographic is coming a lot bigger, which thank fucking god, you know it's about time. You know, like spent most of my childhood being male in a male-dominated you know thing, hearing people just go. Oh my god, show us your tits when, you know, a female can fucking hawk on the mic in Counter-Strike. You know, it's finally getting to the point where maybe, like, one in a hundred chance you won't hear show us your tits at some point while you're playing, which, hey, you know, girls out there, progress! <laughs> you know, like, if you're like a 14-year-old and you're hearing that shit, you know, maybe you're like, Oh my god, this is so stupid, you know, that I have to put up with the shit. It's progress, trust me. <laughs> like, I know it's shit right now. But it is progress, you know? So is it coming from a fucking male who was annoyed by that bullshit for so fucking long, it has gotten better regardless of how stupid it may fucking seem for you. And it's still shit, obviously, but, you know, it, it, it could be worse. <laughs> I'll just say that. The whole it gets better, like, you know, gay rights campaign or whatever, or well, it's not even gay rights, but, you know, just like, they don't commit suicide campaign, I guess is what it is, but... You know, the whole it gets better. Kind of. <laughs> like, not really. But hopefully it will soon, you know. I mean, it, it's been getting slightly better over the years, you know. But, yeah, I mean, it's fucking gaming in general has gone to a point where you have casuals taking over the market. Because, again, you know, not in, in esports, it's mostly 18 to 24 males. But when it comes to gaming in general, it's actually going more towards 20 to 30-ish people. You know, it's coming towards young adults who are out in the world, have a lot of disposable income, to be honest. You know, I mean, they have school loans and, you know, shit like that. But when it comes to 50 bucks for a game, or, well, not even 50, like 5 bucks, 10 bucks for a game, for a mobile social games, and, you know, the, the occasional five or ten bucks for, you know, a small microtransaction. You know, basically, like, fifty dollars by the time you're done. But, you know, when it comes to, like, fifty bucks altogether over the course of, like, a year for, you know, a social game, they're targeting 20 to 30 year olds. Because, honestly, a high schooler probably doesn't have, like, fifty bucks just to blow on random bullshit. Like, I'm playing Diablo right now. 
I think I've spent 25 bucks on Real Money Auction House just to get gold over the course of like a year. Nah, I don't even think that much, but still, like, the point is, I don't give a fuck. You know, it's, it's just like, I don't fucking care. That's like a pizza, two pizzas, I guess, basically, you know? I mean, that's how I think of it. I'll just not buy a pizza twice in a year that I was going to other ones, and then I'm good. You know, I mean, that, that's how I think of it. It's just like, who the fuck cares? It doesn't matter to me. But it helps my enjoyment of the game. So they're going after those types of people who have disposable income, who five to ten bucks just does not matter. You know, they just don't care about that. You know, they can go back easily and just be like, meh, I had, you know, like an hour's worth of fun with whatever I spent five bucks on. It's worth it, you know. Because you gotta figure a movie now is fucking like ten bucks or some shit. Which I don't know the movie theaters anymore for that reason, because ten bucks for a fucking movie is really rare that it's worth it. But, you know, I mean... <laughs> And it's weird, but honestly, I would rather spend 10 bucks to watch a brand new movie on my fucking computer than at a movie theater. These people are just annoying as shit, but, uh, you know, like I went back in November, I think, something like that, to the movie theater and watched in the same night, like back to back, watched, uh, fucking whatever the bomb movie was, Skyfall, uh, and then something else, some other movie. But, you know, it was, it, was a, it was a fun time, but it cost me like 25 bucks in the night. I could have fucking, like, geared out all five classes on Diablo for that money. You know, like, and spent 50 hours just kind of fucking around having fun. So instead of four hours for $25, I could add 50 hours for $25. You know, that, that's kind of how I'm thinking about it. And so advertisers are thinking about it at this point. That they're finally waking up to the fact that, oh, you know, advertising in a movie theater is great and all, but advertising to people who will drop five bucks as opposed to, you know, 20 or 30 bucks at a time is a lot more effective. You know, it, like, you can just look at Kickstarter and, you know, the social media fundraising sort of stuff, you know, the crowdsourcing sort of stuff. You can look at that and see that, oh, it's a lot easier to raise money from 100,000 people that'll give a dollar than like 20,000 people that require like 10 bucks or something. That's the math, it's totally off. Obviously, let's see, what is $100,000 at 10 bucks? Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> 10,000 people. But, um, you know, like it's, it's a hell of a lot easier to get a dollar from a bunch of people than to get $10 from a few people. You know, like, that's how advertisers are looking at it. And that's what esports is looking at. And they're looking at people who will buy a la carte esports stuff for five to ten dollars. Like, fuck, dude. I don't know the sales figures for uh, Pro League. They have to be nuts. Like, money wise, they probably don't make as much as GSL. But as far as watch, like, people who watch it and people, or well, not even watch it, people who paid for it gotta be nuts like five dollars for seven or eight months worth of content are you fucking kidding me I, like i dropped that with no intention of really ever even fucking watching the shit you know like i mean i don't watch that much live esports stuff anymore and i was like five bucks fuck it i might watch it one night <laughs> you know i mean like that was like no problem i may actually watch that at some point one time and five dollars is totally worth that GSL, though, it's, like, fucking expensive as hell. You know, I mean, even though it's only, I mean, I, I don't know offhand how much it is, uh, you know, per month, but it's at least, like, 20 or 30 bucks, I think, for HD. Uh, okay, maybe it's, like, only 15 a month, but still, even if it's, like, $5 a month, you're looking at $5 a month versus $5 for seven months. For arguably less content because Pro League has a shit ton of games and I mean you know for someone like me who's a fan of you know original Starcraft and Brood War shit it's actually better you know, not necessarily better like mechanically games but better games in that oh shit Flash, Jadon, you know Baby like all these fucking people that used to be my fucking idols are like all of a sudden playing this game I can pay five dollars 
for like seven months worth of live and VODs to maybe catch them once or twice. Fine. I don't give a shit. That's totally fine. You know, and then GSL, not putting them down. They're fucking amazing. You know, they've done a ton for esports and StarCraft 2. But, you know, and, I mean, they are the premium product for StarCraft 2. But it's not something I'm really willing to pay for because I don't really watch enough to make it worthwhile. And I mean, you know, MLG, I worked for MLG, and I still sometimes do. I mean, basically, I'm hoping to at least do one event, if not two, this year, but I still pay for their stuff just because, meh, you know, whatever. Even if I don't watch it, I just want to support them. But other than that, it's not. Oh, hey, sweet, I got both those. Oh, wait, Archon, yeah, okay. Um, oh, ooh, this is the event. But yeah. Where the fuck was I? I don't know. Whatever. 